Hi, this is Ramachandran from OnlineMathForAll.com. In this video, we are going to see a problem on irrational numbers. So, this kind of questions are uh, being asked in competitive exams like uh, GMAT uh, or something like that. Okay, so when we have this kind of problems uh, in competitive exams, so how it can be solved? Okay, let us see the question. Uh, so, the question we have on the board. So, that is uh, the sum of two irrational numbers multiplied by the larger one is 70 and that difference is multiplied by the smaller one is 12 so then the numbers are we have four options option a is uh, 3 radical 2 2 radical 3 option b is 5 radical 2 3 radical 5 option c is 2 radical 2 5 radical 2 and the last option is none of this so this is the question we have on the board okay so when we are trying to solve this problem from the information given in the question uh, it may take some time because uh, when we are trying to solve this kind of problems in competitive examination, uh, so timing is very important. I mean, uh, time taken by us to solve this kind of problems is very important because uh, we we'll have uh, minimum time to solve this kind of questions. So, uh, if we try to solve the problem uh, by using the information given in the question, it will take more time. So, instead of doing so, uh, we can try some other way to solve this question quickly. So, okay, uh, we can. Uh, check the given options uh, whether option a is correct uh, uh, correct answer for the given question or option b or option c in this way we can uh, try to get the answer from the options given so how can we check the option so let us uh, consider option a so we have to check uh, whether uh, the given information or the given condition in the question is satisfied by option a if the given condition uh, is satisfied by option a option A is correct answer. In case uh, it is not satisfied option uh, by option A, so we have to check option B or option C. In this way we have to check so the given condition or information given in the question satisfied by which option? Option A or option B, option C. So the option which, which is going to satisfy the given condition is the right answer. Okay, first let us check uh, whether option A is correct answer. So in option A we have two irrational numbers. So, they are 3 radical 2 and 2 radical 3. I am just going to apply the given information. So, that is sum of 2 irrational numbers multiplied by the larger one. So, first I am going to find sum of 2 irrational numbers. So, I add. So, I have added 2 irrational numbers. Now, this sum is going to be multiplied by the larger one. I am not sure which one is going to be larger whether 3 radical 2 is larger or 2 radical 3 is larger. I just assume 3 radical 2 is uh, larger. So, now the sum of two irrational numbers is multiplied by the larger one. Now, 3 radical 2 is multiplied by 3 radical 2. So, it will be uh, 9 times 2 because 3 times 3 will become 9. Radical 2 times radical 2 will be 2. Then, I am going to multiply 3 radical 2 by 2 radical 3. So, 3 times 2 will be 6. Radical 3 times radical 2 will be radical 6. So, clearly, so this is irrational. So, because we have square root of 6, that is the reason I am saying the result is irrational. But when we see the information in the question, the sum of two irrational numbers multiplied by the larger one is 70. So, 70 is a rational number. So, when we, uh, uh, we just uh, get sum of two irrational number and uh, multiply the sum by larger one, so we must get the result rational number that is 70. But here in option A, uh, we try the same. We sum the two irrational number and uh, the sum is multiplied by the larger one. We get the result as irrational. So, definitely the option A is not correct. So, here uh, we may analyze why option A is not correct or uh, why we get the result irrational. The reason is the two irrational numbers are unlike radicals. Here we have two irrational numbers 3 radical 2 and 2 radical 3. So, both are unlike radicals. Uh, how I am saying uh, these two are unlike radicals because in the first radical we have number 2 in the second radical we have number 3 so that is the reason uh, I am saying these are uh, two unlike radicals if you have same number in both the radical sign so that is called like radicals but here we have different numbers in both the radicals so these two irrationals are unlike radicals so whenever uh, we have two uh, unlike radicals and uh, also they are irrational numbers 
we just uh, multiply the sum of those two irrational numbers multiplied by the larger one so definitely the result will be a irrational numbers so students please listen to me carefully if we have two unlike radicals and also they are irrational we find the sum of those two irrational numbers and multiplied by the larger one the result will be irrational but in our question the sum of two irrational numbers multiply the larger one must be a rational number that is 70 since uh, these two irrational numbers are unlike radicals the result can never be a rational number always will be a irrational number i mean in, i mean for option a okay now since option a is not the correct answer now let us check uh, option b so when you see option b in option b also we have uh, two irrational numbers but here we have radical 2 radical 5 so here also we have two uh, two unlike radicals so because in the first radical we have 2 in the second radical we have 5 so we have different numbers in the radical sign so these are two unlike radicals so uh, here also we will not get the result as a rational number so because uh, these two irrational numbers are unlike radicals when we find some of these two irrational numbers and multiplied by the larger one so definitely the result will be a irrational number not a rational number so we don't have to check option b so because uh, from the report of option a uh, easily we can uh, check uh, with even without calculation we can check whether option b is correct or not so definitely option b is not correct the reason is so we have two unlike radicals and also irrational numbers so the sum of these two irrational numbers and multiply and by the larger one can never be a rational uh, the result will be a irrational number but we must be getting rational number and also it has to be 70 so option b is not correct and uh, we don't have to worry about the option d because it is none of this so the one more option uh, to be checked so that is 2 radical to 5 radical to so here uh, we have like radicals radical to radical to so possibly uh, we may get uh, uh, correct answer here so okay just uh, let us apply the given information uh, in this option c 2 radical to and 5 uh, radical to i just find some some of these two radicals so i add now uh, the sum is going to be multiplied by the larger one so in this option it's very clear 2 radical to 5 radical to 5 radical to is the larger one i'm just going to multiply this uh, sum by 5 radical to so 2 radical to 5 radical to will be 7 radical to times 5 radical to 5 times 7 will be 35 radical time 2 times radical 2 will be 2 so 2 times 35 will be 70 so we got the right answer so the sum of two irrational numbers multiplied by the larger one we get the result 70 so as it is uh, given in the question okay we can check the second information also so the difference between the two radicals 5 radical to negative 2 radical to uh multiplied by the smaller one smaller one is 2, ra 2 radical 2 so 5 radical 2 negative 2 radical 2 will be 3 radical 2 times 2 radical 2 5 uh, radical 2 negative 2 radical 2 will be 3 radical 2 times 2 radical 2 3 times 2 will be 6 uh radical 2 times radical 2 will be 2 it is 12 so we get the correct answer uh that is uh, i mean the second information is satisfied by the option c so option c is the correct answer so students uh, we don't have to sp uh, spend more time so we just have to know the concept that is uh, uh, if there are two uh, irrational numbers and also they are uh, unlike radicals uh, when we find some of those two irrational numbers and multiplied by the larger one so the result uh, will be a irrational number so that is a concept you have to remember here so once we remember that easily we can check uh, even without doing any calculation uh, uh we can say option a is not correct option b is not correct so option c may be correct so that we can uh, check it with calculation so for this uh, calculation so which i have done on the board i will not take much time so we just add uh, the two radicals and multiply by the larger one so it's very simple because uh, since are like radicals easily we can sum 2 radical 2 5 radical 2 7 radical 2 and it is multiplied by the larger one easily we can check the given information so uh, actually i did some calculation for option a because i just want to make you to understand uh, if two radicals uh, i mean uh, if two irrational numbers are unlike radicals and uh, when we find some of those two irrational numbers and multiplied by the multiplied by the larger one so the result will be a irrational one so definitely the result uh, will not be a rational so i just want to make you to understand that concept that is why i did some calculation for a 
but uh, if I face the same question in examination I won't do calculation for option A because uh, as soon as uh, I see the option A uh, I'll decide option A is not correct because we have uh, two irrational numbers and also they are the important thing is that they are unlike uh, radicals so the when I apply the first information in option A so definitely the result will be a irrational number but uh, according to the given information the question the result must, must be a rational number I hope now uh, you will be able to understand uh, how this kind of problems can be solved uh, by using uh, I mean by checking the given options ok students uh, for more videos like this please visit uh, www.onlinemathforall.com thank you